Hello everyone. Today we are testing the Mantis. Toby, view to the rear. Okay, nothing. You can see your bed. And actually quite a bit of your seat. Top, nothing. Sides, okay, I've seen better. You can see a bit down at the sides and front is okay, much better than other RSI ships like Andromeda. One size one missile. Shields 64. Well, depending on your orientation, those MFDs are hard to read because they are see-through. I wish we would have options to customize this. CRG showed us a video nine years ago. One size two missile. Shields 25. One size three missile. Shields 20. I see a red spot. Let's take a look at components. This is your interdiction device. It's always at zero half. No idea why. No component damage. We at 93.61. I don't see any cosmetic damage. Two size three missiles. Okay. Shields down. We are deep red. And this does not look good. We lost our fuel. We still have shields. Shields are regenerating. Let's check components. This is your interdiction device. It's always at zero health. Everything else at max, but we lost a few things. For example, guns that are lost are not showing up anymore. We are at 49.52. Okay, we are looking pretty bad. There's a huge hole. Well, it's not a hole, it's just a graphic error. CRG never addressed this. This is in the game since forever. It looks different from the inside. And I guess we cannot fly anymore because we don't have any hydrogen fuel left. Yeah, I have nothing. I cannot accelerate. I cannot roll. I cannot yaw. I cannot pitch. Let's take a look at the damage state. We have smoke and warning lights. Like I told you, from the inside this looks alright. But from the outside you can look in. This is in the game since we got the Mentes 3 size 3 missiles. The two memes explain why I do this, and I use missiles and torpedoes as my yard sticks. In my tests, the ships in standard loadout and high alpha damage mantis is pretty much on the same level toughness wise as Buccaneer, Hornet, Reliant Miko and 325A. Let's take a look at the patch comparison. I've did of Mantis from 3.7 until today with a lot of gaps. She can now survive two size 3 missiles because CIG nerfed missile and torpedo damage in 3.17. Would I go into battle in a Mantis in 3.17? If I needed a ship to pull other ships out of Quantum, sure. And my guess is she will have a lot of use in 3.18 when we get physicalized cargo and a lot of ships are getting attacked by pirates and creepers of course. Let's talk about the problems of Mantis. You have those transparent MFDs. This is a really terrible idea. They are quite often very hard to read. In airplanes you have a lot of freedom where to put the engines. Airplanes fly in air, they have horizontal and vertical stabilizers and they have control surfaces. In space you don't have this, vector of thrust must be aligned with center of mass and engines or the nozzles must be gimbaled for course corrections and center of mass can shift. 
for example empty or loaded cargo ship. This is what happens when you are accelerating, your ship is flying perfectly straight because CIG is faking trust vectors. And this is what would happen if CIG would use some very basic level of physics. Your ship would just tumble because vector of trust is way above center of mass. Because of the transparent MFDs, which can be very hard to read, and because the design is just fantasy, my rating for Mantis and 3.17 is a 4 out of 10, but I would still use it if I want to pull other ships out of Quantum, or if I want to prevent them going into Quantum. You can find a link to my spreadsheet and a lot more useful guides in the description below. I hope you had fun watching this video and see you next time. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. And again, I died just pushing a trolley. Yeah. Hey, you are still here. You might want to join me on Twitter. My Twitter account is Camoral underscore SC.